The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhaus. In this episode, I talked to Nevin Rosassen, who is the Policy and Program Specialist with Alberta Pulse Growers. Nevin and I talk about the pressure of pea leaf weevils in your pea and faba bean crops, as well as how more often than not, spraying for the insect is not actually required. In the plots here today, we have quite a few different pulses, but uh, one of the things we're highlighting is pea leaf weevil. And pea leaf weevil is a pest of both uh, peas and also faba beans. So here we have some plots. We have some treated and untreated uh, plots and treated would be reference to a seed treatment being used uh, which would be a neonic. In this case it's uh, thymethoxum and uh, we have the untreated check and uh, basically we've been out here scouting and finding lots of notching especially on our untreated plots. We're now starting to see a little more notching along the leaf margin in uh, some of the, the treated plots as well because we only have between 20 and 30 days of efficacy where the neonic will uh, stop the adults from feeding and ovipositing their eggs. Now the life cycle of pea leaf weevil is very interesting because it only takes about two to two and a half weeks to complete a life cycle. The adult female will oviposit an egg at the base of the pulse plant, the peas and faba beans, and that uh, egg when it hatches, those larvae begin their journey down to find the nodules and it's the feeding on the nodules that's the actual uh, yield reducing component of this insect pest. So it's the larvae that do the damage. The above ground feeding is just an indication that yes there's adults there and it's below ground where all the magic happens where that nitrogen fixation occurs. So that is why we recommend in areas where there is a lot of pea leaf weevil uh, that you definitely look at a seed treatment. In other regards, we're working on more uh, predictive tools for mapping pea leaf weevil. Uh, they absolutely uh, enjoy weather around that 20 degrees Celsius and that's when they can fly. And uh, indeed, we do have researchers tracking uh, their flight and how far they can fly. So they have determined by putting pea leaf weevil basically on the end of a string flying round and round that they can fly, I believe it's uh, 500 meters, half a kilometer in less than 20 minutes. So they are mobile, they do move, and uh, they are an insect of concern here in Alberta. So when producers are looking for the uh, pea leaf weevil in the uh, roots, how do they go about doing that? So whenever you're scouting pulse crops, if you don't have a shovel, you're doing it wrong. You always have to dig up plants and look at the roots. Uh, pulse crops, whether it's uh, pests in this instance or whether it's root rots and diseases, you need to have a shovel. So the best way is first to look along the leaf margin for pea leaf weevil to see if they've been notching uh, at the edge of the leaf and it's very uh, uh, very easy to spot. It looks as though your grandmother has taken pinking shears along that leaf margin. So it is very uh, uh, easy to identify. After that, uh, start digging up plants, shake the dirt off if you can and uh, you might be able to find a larvae that's eating inside the nodules. It's uh, quite fascinating. In fact, it's uh, one of my favorite pastimes. So I know you're, you're recommending not typically spraying, but is there any thresholds with pea leaf weevils? That's absolutely correct. Uh, we don't actually recommend spraying. Uh, we do have some products that are available, uh, such as uh, Lambda Cyhalothrin, or commonly known as Matador. However, once you have adults there, um, they've already oviposited that leg, and a non-selective insecticide is not going to control uh, those larvae below ground. Now, when you do go in and use Matador, uh, you are actually reducing all of the beneficial insects, parasitoids, and predators in the field. So, in fact, we don't recommend uh, spraying for pea leaf weevil. Uh, there is, it is on the label. Uh, however, if you are going to be spraying, we would recommend uh, leaf margins early on when the notching has just started to occur and when adults are moving in. Otherwise, uh, we would not recommend spraying your entire fields for pea leaf weevil. Are there any typical soil types it likes? Great question. In regards to soil types, there's not a preference of one over the other, but in regards to regions, absolutely. Pea leaf weevil has been marching north from the American border from the early 2000s, uh, and last year we were finding some pea leaf weevil up in uh, the Central Peace area. So they've definitely been moving north. They've also started their march east across Saskatchewan, and uh, about half of the province there now has uh, some pea leaf weevil in certain pockets. 